All right, Katie, thank you. Let's get back to our breaking news now. A SWAT standoff in a South Mandarin neighborhood, Julington Creek Road. But again, this is that road right before the Fresh Market, before you cross into St. John's County, so Southern Duval County. Uh, Leah Shields has been tweeting pictures and videos between her live hits. I know uh, the, the tear gas had been sent in. Leah, you uh, at Leah Shields News is the Twitter account to follow if you can check that out. But she joins us live with all that's happened between her last hit. Hello, good morning. Good morning. A lot has happened in the last 30 minutes. It's become more of an active scene here, and it appears that it could be wrapping up, ending somewhat soon. I've been speaking with a neighbor who lives right across the street. She's been in her home throughout the night, and she says she's seen a man leave the house where they were surrounding alive and put in a cop car. That is from a neighbor this morning. We're waiting to get some videos and photos from her as well. And like I said, more activity at the end of the street, so this could be wrapping up sometime soon soon. Like Lou mentioned, tear gas was fired within the last 45 minutes or so drifting down the street. Pretty gnarly stuff there. We want to show you what happened overnight as well. And that is what neighbors heard overnight. Police firing tear gas into the home, trying to get that person out of their home. They were also talking to the person over bullhorn at sometimes it, it sounded like a family members were talking to the person, not just police officers as well. So that has been happening for about 13 and a half hours. Streets closed off in this neighborhood. Even neighbors telling us they had to evacuate. Like I said, I am talking to one neighbor, though, who's right across the street who did not have to evacuate. Other neighbors waking up this morning, walking their dogs trying to see what all is happening in their neighborhood. Little information from police at this moment, but if the neighbor is correct, we could be getting more information soon if this scene starts to wrap up. We did see one SWAT vehicle leave just a few minutes right before my live shot, so we'll keep you updated online and on air. Stay with us on GMJ. Live in Mandarin, Leah Shields, First Coast News on your side.